In this video I'm going to talk about cleaning your dishes, rinsing them off after you get done eating. Um, I'll scrape off all the big bits, trash, whatever, put that in the trash can or compost if it can be composted but you want to scrape your dishes off and then what I like to do is go ahead and take it to the sink and if you have a side sprayer nozzle is rinse them off completely completely um, if you want to use a brush or a sponge and then a periodically take that sponge and or brush um, sanitize it with Clorox or vinegar or even put it in the dishwasher um, so you want to scrape off all the bits scrape scrub with a brush scrub them fairly clean I personally use a little bit of soap a little Dawn soap but but basically you want to get rid of all food bits because what happens is the seeds, pits, bone gets caught in the dishwasher. And what happens is the uh, dishwasher can't drain properly. And as, as this picture shows, there's bits of spaghetti stuck in there. And the drain, it cannot drain properly because it's clogged. So what happens is the dishwasher cannot drain because the float is stuck with a bunch of food gunk and the drain is caught with a bunch of food paste and gunk. So basically you want to rinse all your dishes off and basically use your dishwasher basically to rinse and to sanitize and to dry. And so basically what happens is like I noted here uh, is this is basically a dishwasher. Um, the float like I mentioned can get clogged with food chunks causing drain issues and if the float gets stuck then the tub may not fill correctly and or it may not drain correctly and then in addition to that there is a well the, the drain pipe um, there is a very small drain pipe about the size of your finger um, that sometimes can get clogged up with food paste waste or whatever and that will get clogged in the line and will y your dishwasher cannot drain properly and so basically you have a backed up dishwasher and then you ha start having odors and you have to either uh, pull out the uh, the filter to clean it or to pull, pull everything out but generally it's usually what happens is it'll fill up with a bunch of guck and food nasty stuff so basically um, during the install this is going back to the install you want a high 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 loop so um, all that food waste because the motor the drain motor has the pump has to push all that stuff out and if that pipe is clogged it's going to get clogged and it's going to sit and it's going to um, rot inside there so this is basically uh, showing if you have a garbage disposal how the uh, inlet is this is during the install but basically you want to scrub off all your food rinse the dishes off completely because even though the marketing geniuses say with dishwashers oh you don't have to scrub them you do because they're not garbage disposals um, basically rinse them off completely I personally have a dishwasher that's at least 10 years old I always rinse my dishes off and I've never had issues so ju this is just a quick little tip um, I know it's counterintuitive why do you have a dishwasher in the in the first place but you want to clean off all that food bits uh, seeds and food debris and everything and basically clean it off completely before you put it in the dishwasher I hope that helps